for joining us again for Cooking and Kids. For those of you who are following my work, I wanted to announce that as of August of 2015, Cooking and Kids Project is a part of a nonprofit organization called Vlada Seeds of Life. This is very exciting news for us. One way to fund our initiative for healthier and happier America is through a series of fundraisers. This evening I'm hosting yet another one and let me show you what I'm making. I was asked to prepare a special dessert. It's called caramel bars and I wanted to share the recipe with you. In a few easy steps, I want to show you how you too can make this dessert. We'll start by melting two cups of sugar on medium-high fire. It might take a few minutes for sugar to heat up and slowly start melting. As it melts, continue to stir so that sugar will melt equally. Next step is evaporated milk. Add it slowly while mixing the sugar. Now all we need to do is allow sugar to melt in the milk and for that we're going to turn our fire to low. Once sugar is completely dissolved in milk, we're going to turn the fire off and let the mixture cool. To lukewarm mixture, we're going to add two sticks of butter. Once the butter is nicely incorporated, we're going to add four egg yolks and mix it well. Rest is really easy. Just add four cups of ground graham crackers and two cups of chopped walnuts. Once real mixed and cooled, we are ready to proceed. Now this is a tricky part. We're going to need these wafers, which you can only find in the specialty stores. The rest of the process is very simple. Add a half of the mixture on one wafer, spread it out and cover it with another wafer. Now for those of you who cannot find these wafers, I suggest adding a little more walnuts and a little bit more of graham cracker to the mixture. Set the mixture in a fridge and once it really chills, form little caramel balls. Further, to make it even better, I would roll these balls in ground walnuts. However, if you do find them, this is how we're going to finish this off. This is our second wafer and now we're going to let them sit under pressure overnight. Use a baking sheet, put one on top of the other. Now use another baking sheet to press it and just put something heavy on the top of that. All right, we're going to let this mixture sit overnight. You don't need to refrigerate it, just let it sit under the pressure. The next day, we're going to cut them up and now they're going to go back to fridge. Wrap them up so they don't dry out and let them sit overnight or until you're ready to use them. Dessert like this is a great addition to any ice cream dish. I love this walnuts in there. With dessert done, it's time to focus back on dinner and on our fundraiser. Tonight's menu includes stuffed mini pumpkins, home-baked bread and so much more. Thank you for spending time with me. Now I would like to invite you to my website where you can find out more about my nonprofit work. Thank all for watching and um, until the next episode, please take good care of yourself and of those you love.